Good morning, Centurion Vineyard family, and it's really great to be joining you again for our daily devotionals. I've entitled our devotionals this week, The Words of Your Life, and it is my hope in and through the series to highlight the importance of our words, both the words that we say and speak and even the words that we think. It is also my hope to highlight the impact that our words can have, not only in our own lives, but also in the lives of others. And it is my further hope that God willing, by the end of the week, we will all be so much more aware of our words. We'll be so much more aware of what we are saying and how we are saying it, and even what we are thinking. That said, here's just a little bit of fun with words. In 1984, a British writer, actor, broadcaster, and self-proclaimed Scrabble fanatic did the sums, did the research, and came to the conclusion that the average person speaks around 860.3 million words in their lifetime. Now, if the average lifespan were around 75 years, that would equate to 11,470,000 words a year. That's 955,980 words a month, 238,970 words a week, 34,140 words a day, 1,420 words an hour, 23 words a minute every minute of the day. Now, if you probably know somebody that would probably skew those facts upwards in your circle of friends, and if you don't, um, chances are you're it. Just saying. Now, on the other hand, research seems to suggest that we hear, on average, anywhere from half again as many words to four times as many words in a day. Okay, so if we just add half again as many words heard to the words that we speak on a daily basis, that would equal 51,000 words heard every single day. That's 377,000 words a week, 1,428,000 words a month, 17,136,000 words a year, and eventually 1.285 billion words over an average 75-year lifespan. Uh, put into context, if a word were to equal a centimeter, that would uh, equate to the same distance as between the church building and Nicaragua in South America in terms of words spoken in a person's lifetime. That's a lot of words. And we're bombarded by words every single day, every single minute of every single day. Whether it's on the radio, whether it's on TV, whether it's in print, whether it's conversations, words flood our lives, words flood our minds and our hearts. And yet, for something that seems to play such a large part in our lives, we pay very little uh, attention to the impact that words can have in our lives. We pay very little attention to how serious words can be. But for the writers of the Bible and the people who they, who they were generally writing to in the ancient Near Eastern culture of the day, words were incredibly important. They were so important that the, the, the people that wrote the Bible, the people that lived in that time, even went so far as to name their children according to events that had happened or hopes that they had for their children's future. Is it any wonder then that the Bible starts with an emphasis on the creative, event-shaping power of God's spoken word? Genesis 1 resounds with the phrase, And God said, Let there be. And as he speaks, creation in all of its fullness comes into being. Imagine the power, the force behind those words. Can you physically create something just by speaking it? I tried. But no matter how many times, no matter how loudly I said the words, Dodge Viper, um, I was unable to create one. I'm still not driving one. And not only do God's words have the power of creation, but as we read our way through the whole of the Bible, we see how when God speaks, events shift and change and people's lives are transformed. God speaks to Abraham in Genesis 12 verses 1 to 9, and he shifts and changes the course and history of an entire people group. He speaks to Moses in Exodus chapter 3 and through Moses in Exodus chapter 5 and continuing, 
and brings about natural events the like of which have never been seen before and will never see again just to bring about the freedom of the nation of Israel from slavery. He speaks to Joshua in Joshua 1 and the Israelites begin to form their nation. He speaks to Samuel in 1 Samuel 16 and Israel get their two best kings, David and Solomon. And as a nation, they rise to heights they had never known before and would never know again. And God speaks through the other prophets like Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, Nahum, Hosea. God speaks and the nation of Israel find themselves bearing the consequences of their disobedience and disloyalty to God. And then God speaks again to a young virgin girl in Luke's gospel chapter 1. And that word spoken brings about the means of salvation for you and for me. Now, I know we may not necessarily pay much attention to words anymore in the Western world. A word spoken is a word soon forgotten. Gone are the days where a man's word was his bond. And even today, if you know the right person, a written contract is no longer binding. However, we can never forget the power of God's word both the written word in the form of the Bible and his spoken word that he speaks to each of us personally. Maybe today there's an area where you need to hear God's word spoken into to bring about change in your life, to bring about freedom in your life. Maybe it's a relationship. Maybe it's a job situation or a, a financial situation. Whatever it is, could I encourage you to reach out to God constantly until you hear Him speak? I believe that today and every day, every minute of the day, He is speaking to us. He is speaking into our lives and our situations, but we, our lives, our ears, our hearts, our minds are just so flooded by all the other words that we don't really get to hear Him. All we need to do is like Abraham and Mary, is, is to listen and as we hear him speak, to respond in faith. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your word, your written word in the Bible and your spoken word that you speak through your Holy Spirit into our hearts, into our minds, into our lives every single day. Father, I pray that those who need to hear a word from you today would hear you speak so clearly. Those who need you to speak and change a situation, a relationship, Father, would you speak those words that, that, that bring about that change? For those who need to hear your voice to change themselves, Father, would they listen? And would you bring about that change in them? So, Father, speak to us today. Speak to us every day this week. Speak to us every day of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless, and I'll see you all again tomorrow.